felt were really good or really bad. The ears were really good. There was no suggestion of ridicule if that's what's worrying you. At least not that I can recall. I remember a long letter you wrote, Serena, about agrarian socialism. I think it was one of the first things to set Alice Dreyer off about Marxism. Since then, she's joined the Red Underground Army. If she blows herself up, it'll be your fault. It's actually surprising to see you at something like this. In your letters, you expressed a vehement opposition to dead parties and to conventional society in general. I take it you've changed your mind. No, I'm just as much opposed as I've ever been. Then what made you decide to come tonight? He got an invitation. He's right. I got an invitation and didn't particularly have anything else to do. I think that's the case with almost everybody. No, Nick goes whether he's invited or not. Unlike Tom, I'm in favor of these kind of parties, and I want to show that support however I can. I don't know. It's a bit ridiculous for someone to say that they're morally opposed to Deb parties and then attend them anyways. It's, it's untenable. Everyone does. But that's no contradiction. I wasn't trying to. Well, I think it's justifiable to go once to know at first hand what it is you oppose. I'd read Veblen, but it was amazing to see that these things still go on. You're a Marxist? No, I'm a committed socialist, but not a Marxist. I favor the socialist model developed by the 19th century French social critic Fourier. You're a Fourierist? Yes. Um, Fourierism was tried in the 19th century and, and failed. I mean, wasn't Brook Farm Fourierist? It failed. That's debatable. Whether Brook Farm failed? That it ceased to exist, I'll grant you, but whether it was really a failure, I don't think can be definitively said. Well, well for me, Ceasing to exist is, is failure. I mean, that's, that's pretty definitive. Well, everyone ceases to exist. That doesn't mean everyone's a failure. Do you feel 